So welcome to another edition of uh, GMAT Success Stories. And today we have with us uh, Vaishnavi Shetty. Hi, Vaishnavi. Hi, sir. Hi. I guess I'll start from the first time that I started classes with IMS. I believe it was November last year when I had started and uh, the classes went on for about a month, a month and a half. How did you go about ensuring that you get to the place that you did eventually uh, with your uh, quant capabilities for GMAT? I think the mistake that I made very initially was thinking quantity will help me get to the score I want. And I just kept solving questions after questions and mm -hmm. it really did not affect my score significantly as I thought it would because what happens is once you solve a question, if you get it incorrect, you'll go and see the solution and you'll assume that you've understood what it is. But right. that's just not the case. You need to revisit that um, question and take enough time even when you're analyzing it at that moment. Even if it takes you like half an hour to sit down with that question and really understand what went wrong how could you have changed it or done things differently a lot for me because I remember when when I'd done classes with you as well you had said in the beginning take as much time as you want on every question just because you need to first understand what is going on then you can think to like get better at your accuracy um, but uh, having talked about quant where you probably devoted a bit more of a time getting more comfortable with the basics Mm -hmm. and just ensuring that you strengthened that particular area and the skills around it. Uh, verbal was always your stronger suit. How? What was your strategy around it? With verbal, I think what I found was um, I needed to put in effort with my reading comprehension. And that again boiled down to attention, you know, because mm -hmm. when you see long, lengthy, boring essays you have absolutely no knowledge or interest in it's very easy to get sidetracked and like let your mind like wander around yeah. so the thing that I did at least for RC that I can give like a, a quick tip is every para that I read I made like I didn't write take notes for sure because I think that's time consuming but I made a brief like note mental note that this is what this para was talking about right so I think that really helps you to understand what the primary pass primary purpose of the passages which is more often than not a common question in rc mm. and it also helps you come back to the specific paragraph that you need to look at for very pointed questions right, um, right. and that helped me with improving my rc score for sure you know when we when you were writing mocks and one of the things that uh, i kind of paid attention to was how you were st you were getting obviously a lot of questions wrong unnecessarily which were careless okay. mistakes and those mistakes were born out of you not reading or you misreading question or you yeah. having that slight lack of attention while reading and hence doing something else altogether and getting to a wrong answer obviously so how did you ensure that you stopped doing that so this is actually going to be really funny and I haven't shared this with anyone because I thought it was extremely lame. Um, I, I, yeah, you're right. I made a lot of these silly mistakes where I wouldn't read the question properly at all. Um, I would, I don't know, if, if there's an eight there, for some reason in my head, there would be a six and I would use that and then be like, huh, why am I not getting the answer? Mm. Um, and there's just not enough time for you to keep rereading the question and like understanding it. Yeah. Um, so the funny thing that I did was, and people can judge me for it. I started meditating every morning I <laughs> and I did it for like 15 minutes a day. Yeah. I, I mean, it may work for some people. It may not work for some people, but I think it really, really helped me for sure. And it, I think it definitely did work for me. I started making fewer and fewer of those mistakes while I'm sure I could have, I would have definitely made those mistakes in my final, um, but I think it at least helped me get over the initial barrier. More often than not, it's not the academics that beats people on GMAT. It's who they are themselves. Yeah, so you really need to improve on that to be able to score better. And uh, I think it's a wonderful story, something that I'll be sharing with a lot of students in future as well. As to how so you need to be really honest with the kind of mistakes you're making. And that's where the practice has to be targeted at. Practice is not always solving questions. Practice for Vaishnavi 
to a large extent was meditating which showed up and uh, let her improve her concentration when you scored a 590 how hard was it a factor for you to overcome and think about a second attempt to post that as far as convincing myself was concerned my objectives were very clear i knew why i had to get the gmat i think mm-hmm. if you set your mind to this is what i need to get and be very goal driven about it mm-hmm. it should shouldn't be a problem and i wish you all the best with the remainder of your application process stay safe yeah. thank you sir bye bye bye